Wounded Children. This is based on a true story. Hey, you little brat, if I've told you once, I've told you a hundred times to stay out of my office. I wasn't doing anything, Daddy. Daddy, can't you see I'm busy, David? Quit being such a pest. Go inside and watch TV. Okay, Daddy. Looking good, John. Make mine rare. John and I have been having problems, Edith. So what else is new? Well, I found porno books in John's office, and I'm just sick about it. David, now is a good time to go into your daddy's office. Ha ha ha, did you hear the one about the traveling salesman? Open the big drawer, David, and look at the pretty books. That's your daddy's book. If daddy enjoys it, it's all right. David's innocence is taken from him. The door has been opened to the world of sexual fantasy. Put the books back, David. Daddy will get mad if you don't. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt, decay, good manners, behavior. David, think about all those pictures in your daddy's book of all those people doing all those strange things. I wonder if... Little David is now facing demonic forces coming at him using subliminal mind control through the power of suggestion, planting thoughts and ideas in his mind. At ten years old, David has been involved in masturbation and sexual fantasy. David, go home. I don't want to do those things anymore. It's wrong. Don't worry. We didn't like it anyway, did we, David? David, your daddy doesn't understand you like I do. I'm your real friend. David, did you know that you are really a little girl inside a boy? That's why that little girl didn't like you. The demonic force working on David is molding him into a feminine role. In this case, it is using David's father to help plant those thoughts in David's mind. What would friends say if they knew your son was playing with a doll? Hit him. Daddy, David won't give me back my dolly. David, what the heck are you doing with that doll, you little sissy? Give it back to Peggy, you sissy. Not all homosexuals have been programmed to be feminine. Many are extremely masculine. Satan will use a multitude of techniques to fill the ranks of homosexuals. David has been confused for years about his sexual identity. One day, his mother discovers him putting on eye makeup, and she takes him to a psychiatrist. I've talked to David, and he is homosexual. That's his sexual preference. But can you help him, doctor? He's not the one who needs help. You must learn to accept him as he is. I won't accept it. God didn't make David like that. It's your fault you turned him into a sissy. I tried to get you to take him fishing. Daddy, shut up. They should put you on an island with all the rest of the queers and blow it up. Doesn't anybody understand? I've got to get out of here. David tries to go straight. He dates girls, but the homosexual tendency is too strong to resist. I really like you, David. You're different. You seem to understand what I'm really going through. Oh, honey, you just don't know. I'm really your sister. Later that same night, why can't I just die? Why was I ever born? Why can't I change? You're lonely and depressed. Get it into your head. You're gay, so face it. David, at 17, is finally on his own, exploring the different facets of homosexual life. I've got to be me, so here I come, world. Live it up, David. You've finally found a place where you belong and people will love you as you are. I'm so high, I'm flying. Got any amyl nitrate? Sure, get a rush. Wow, this is where it's at. Cruise, you fool, it's getting late. I tell you, I prefer to play it safe. I read the other day that 
One in ten has herpes. Yeah, and those aren't very good odds. Only the way you go through them, honey. It's getting so that you almost need a health certificate anymore to go home with someone. I don't know. I've been more careful since Carl's lover died with cancer. Hey, David, feast your eyes on that dude. Lee, see that guy over there looking at us? Send him a drink. Isn't he Bill, David? You're just what I've been looking for. I know we can make it. David, I want someone permanent. I'm sick of one-night stands. I feel the same way. Nine months later. Brian, I saw you last night. You weren't working like you said. You were at the bar cruising. If you don't like it, David, get out. Like they say, variety is the spice of life. Alone again. Ever think of suicide, David? What's the use of living? But David, there's a lot of fish in the sea. Love them and leave them. I guess one night stands are better than loneliness. Where are you going? We're going to clean up the community. Going queer hunting, huh? You got it. We're going to find us some fags to play baseball with and bust their crazy heads. Oh no, it looks like trouble. I got one. Get him in the truck. Let me hit him. Someone help me. Go help him, David. I can't. There are too many of them. It sounds like Brian. Your dad was right. You're a gutless little coward. Hmm. Unidentified body found in vacant lot. The victim was beaten and mutilated. There are no leads at this time. Oh my god, it must be Brian. Why didn't I do something? What you need is a stiff drink. Let's go to the bar. You don't want to be alone right now. Six years later. Is this all there is? What's going to happen when I get old? Nobody wants an old queen. Now, David, you know things will get better. Live for today. David has tried everything in his search for love and his sexual identity, but he still feels unsatisfied and insecure. Is this seat taken? No, oh, sit down. Can I be honest with you? Sure. The Lord sent me here to witness to you. David, be careful. He's a fanatic. He's just here to condemn you. Get rid of him. Are you really happy? No, are you? I'm very happy now. At one time I was gay, just like you. But God set me free and changed my life. And with God, all things are possible. Don't believe it, David. You don't want to change. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, not thieves, nor covetous, not drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus by the Spirit of our God. Your life can change too, David, but only God can do it. Bible tells us that we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but with principalities and powers. And you can sense it in this place. You know there's some you know there's more to this life than meets the eye. Don't you sense a force here that has control of you? Don't you feel driven, David? Yes, it's like I'm out of control. The devil drives a person until he is destroyed, but only the Lord can give you real peace. Do you want to change, David? I don't know. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. You've tried everything else, and it's all empty. But there is a special love that can fill that emptiness. The Bible says if any man is in Christ, he becomes a new creature. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. But can't I stay gay and be a Christian? No, David. You cannot stay gay. Salvation means a changed life. But what if I can't change? You can't do it alone, but God can if you follow Him. Do you know that homosexuality in God's sight is a sin just like lying, stealing, murder, adultery, fornication, etc.? The Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You need a Savior to get out of this lifestyle, David. But wasn't I born gay? 
the gay society, the gay churches, and even some psychiatrists say that we were born gay. But the Bible says you were born in the image of God. You were not born with a cigarette in your hands. Sinful habits are learned and influenced by demonic forces in order to take you to hell, David. But I heard a gay preacher say David and Jonathan were lovers, so the Bible approves of homosexuality as long as you are Christians. David, he was wrong. That wasn't sexual love. That was a spiritual love. You can love a brother in the Lord, but you don't have sex with him. God forbids it. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed as an example to all those who live ungodly not only for homosexuality, but bestiality, adultery, fornication, rape, sexual child abuse, sadomasochism, and all forms of sexual perversions. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. Is that the way it really happened? Yes, David, I gave you the word of God. But Jesus loved you so much that he died to give you life and that more abundantly. David, the Bible says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God hath raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If this is true, I want you to talk to a friend of mine right now because he's suicidal. Take them now, Kenny, and you'll be free of this depression. Now, take them now. Hurry, Kenny, hurry. Kenny, are you inside? Open up, Kenny. I've got something to tell you. Please, David, don't do it. You need me, and you need gay life, too. Two hours later. Oh, God, I don't deserve your forgiveness, but I'm asking you to save me. Please, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for taking my place on the cross, shedding your precious blood and letting God's judgment for sin fall on you instead of me. I want you as the Lord of my life. I give up. I want you to take control of everything. Please help me, Lord. I take authority over you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for saving us. Sheesh, the way that preacher prays, we haven't any choice but to look for another David. The Bible says there's only one way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that every one may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Second Corinthians 5.10. Amen.